<laughs> Welcome back to CSS 3 in 30 Days. Guess what's happening today? We are going to be making an 8-bit Super Mario with just CSS 3. I'm not joking. Check it out. Over here, we got day 8, 8-bit Super Mario or 8-bit Mario. Uh, what's going to happen here is check it out. That. That's what we're going to make in CSS. And then I just have this little kind of CSS animation when you click the Wahoo button. Wahoo! Wahoo! Huh? Woo? Huh? Wahoo! Wee! See? Something like that. Uh, the sounds you have to provide yourself. Uh, but that's what we're going to be doing. And so it's pretty interesting how it's done. The HTML is beautifully simple. And if only that were all you had to do, then that would be pretty cool. But the CSS is a little bit interesting and I'll show you why. Now, keep in mind, this isn't necessarily a practical use of CSS3. I don't know how many times I've ever been paid to make Super Mario in CSS, except for now. Whoa. Let's head over to our course files here and download the 8-bit, uh, number 8, 8-bit Super Mario project files. You'll go ahead and do that and come back right here to this uh, part of the video. And what's going to happen here is we have our index sandbox and final CSS as usual. Here in the index, check out the markup. I'm going to go uh, down to the final result here. All we have is a button, a div with uh, the class of Mario block and final Mario. I always prepend uh, final double underscore for the final, res uh, the final CSS. So let's go up to the sandbox. This is all the markup you're going to be using. So we have the button. And this is Mario here, Mario block and Mario, two divs. That is pretty cool. So how does this work? Let's go over to the browser again, and I'm just going to inspect this and show you what's going on here. Super Mario is in a div called uh, Mario block. So here he is. He's in a block. It's 320 by 320 uh, pixels. I have it set up as 16M by 16M. And we'll get into the measurements in a moment here. In there, we have Final Mario. And there's simply just one line going across. It's one by one block, which is 20 by 20 pixels, or um, as we can see here, 1M. Now, you can see that there are 16 blocks going across. That's because we've set up in Final Mario block 16M. So this is 16 by 16, which equates to 320 and 320 pixels in this case. Uh, and so that means the container we're working with is 16 by 16. And each block of the Mario pixel, I guess we could say, because he's an 8-bit, so he's like a 16 pixel uh, sort of thing. The width is 1M. So we have 1M and 16 of those fit across. So final Mario is officially just 1M by 1M. And what we're doing here is using a bunch of box shadows. You can see his colors here. Look at that. That is hairy but that is how we do it we just have a box shadow that has multiple values separated by comma just putting the place in the colors on a grid so for example zero and zero is the top left and then one and zero is one m over and at, you know it's at the top so it goes in that sort of grid like uh fashion so that is how we make Mario using just box shadows. So go over to your, uh, let me show you here in the final CSS, you can see how it works. We have box shadow and then a bunch of values. Now I'm not going to make you watch me code all these values out. I'll get started to show you the pattern and then I'm going to leave it up to you to finish it. Now you're going to need to reference the a fit the final version pretty pretty closely but keep in mind you're working on a grid a 16 by 16 grid you simply are just kind of painting by numbers or CSSing by numbers let's jump into our sandbox let's we'll get started with the basics so we're gonna style the Mario block that is the container wrapping it all we're gonna say display inline block position relative margin 80 pixels auto Width 16M, height 16M. 
The reason why we're using M's here is because the container within the Mario block, which is just called Mario, when we use M's, it's, re it's referencing the, the size of its parent. Whereas we, when you're using rem, it's relative to the root. So with M, it's relative to its parent. So when I say 16 by 16 M, that is the height and width of the Mario block container. You can see here in the browser, we've got a container here that is in theory 16 by 16 M's. Now what we'll do is we will do basic styles here for just Mario, display block, width 1M, height 1M. So now officially we have one, let's call them pixels just for this moment, they're not actual pixels. This 1M block is gonna be like one big ass pixel. And there's 16 of them going across and 16 of them going down. So now you just have to draw Mario using box shadows within that. So let's just say the background color will be the that blue background we have here in the container, E7 double E F1. Okay, this is where the magic happens. Let's say box shadow, and I'm gonna go 0M, 0M and E7, E, E, F1. So that is the first line, that's the top left. Zero and zero is gonna be that blue. So what's gonna happen here is we want this, here is, here is Mario, this is officially his size right here. Let me just inspect him. There we go. So there he is right there. So this first block is going to be that blue, second block blue, third, fourth, fifth, all the way to 16th is all blue. Then we go down 1M, blue, 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 guess what, next one, red. Red, 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 blue, blue, Mario skin color, Mario skin color, Mario skin color. You gotta kinda gotta get that? So now let's go here, and I'm just gonna start adding some numbers. I'm gonna just blast through the first row of blue, fast forward it, and, uh, and then we'll start getting into just the first little bit of Mario and then we'll take it from there. So first line that. 1M, 0M, and I'm gonna copy that blue color there. So the next one over, this is X, X uh, axis and Y axis. So this means it's going across horizontally. This means it's going down. So we're just going one over, none down. Next one, copy this whole line. And I'm just gonna say two, and zero, then three and zero, then four and zero, then five and zero. We're gonna do this all the way until, you guessed it, 15, because we don't need to do the 16th. And let's just blast through that now. All right, so I've got the first row here of blue. You're not gonna see it at all because it's just the background color. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down one row here, uh, one pixel on the Y axis, and we're gonna go over however many blocks that is until we get to the top of his head, his hat. So let's start that off, comma, and then we're gonna go, we're going down now to the next level. So I'm gonna give another space that maybe that will work just for visual purposes. And now let's say we're gonna go 0M and 1M, blue again. Copy that. We're gonna do that up until the fourth M. One, two, three, four. That's all blue. Now, you're not gonna see anything yet, but now if I go with the next row, uh, with the next M over, we're actually gonna start with his hat. So that's just gonna be flat red. So we're still, now we're at five M and one M. So we're one down and we're five over. Red. Let's just save that, I want a semicolon and save that and see if we have anything. Bam, we have the first official pixel of Mario's hat. Now watch what happens when I add more. And I'm gonna go over six, and then let's go seven, all the way up until nine. So seven, save that, semicolon at the end if you wanna view it. Look at that, we've got the first sliver of his hat, that part right there. So the next couple are gonna be blue, and then three of his skin tone. So let's go ahead and do those together. And then 
I'm going to get you to keep going by yourself here, but I'll give you the colors before you go. So the next one is going to be 10. It's going to be 10 and 1 and that blue color. So E7, E, E, F1. We're going to do uh, two of these. So 1, 2. That's going to be 11. And now we're going to do the skin tone. So let's go. It's going to be 12, 13, 14, 15. So that'll be 12, 13, 14, and 15. The skin tone that we have set here for Mario uh, is FFC966. Copy that, paste it out a couple, a few times there. S semicolon at the end to test, save. Let's head over here. Look at this. We've got the first layer. So we've got first the first row and the second row, which you can start to see it start to take shape. That's what it will turn into. This is what it is right here. So let's quickly do the next one and then you're kind of on your own here. I know I keep saying that, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to do that. So we have just a bunch of red. Uh, so we have from two down. So we got, we got, we're at zero now and now we're at two. So two down zero. So you're at the left two M's down and red. So now we're going to do this all the way up until 12 M and all red. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Change those numbers out real quick. And now save that uh, semicolon at the end to test, to save it, head over. Now we should be, mm, okay, uh, we don't, you can see here Mario has a few blue pixels there and I put them all the way over there. So I just need to change the first few from red and to, to that blue color, that blue brand color. So it's going to be, this one's going to be that color. Then number two is going to be that color. And number three is going to be that color. Save it, head back over. Now we're talking. Now it is more like it needs to be. The last couple here, it even looks like perhaps the one, two, three, four. This one has one, two, three. I think that's three. Yes, that's three. So this tone up here is actually going to be number 15 and one. It's going to be that. So it should look more like this. There we go. And now these two have to be the skin tone. So you kind of guessed it here. Copy this. Do do. This is going to change to that E7, E, uh, E, F1. And these values are going to be 13 and 14. Uh, actually, no, that's not the skin tone. The skin tone is FFC966. And then 15 is E7, E, E, F1, semicolon, save that. Now we've officially got our second row. You can see that it's starting to take shape. So now what you're going to do is go through and map these out yourself because obviously this would be the longest video ever if I'm going to write, you know, oh, 300 lines of box shadows. So I'm going to leave that up to you. Do it. Just actually do it and try it yourself. And if you get bored, you can, you know, move on, but try it. It's kind of an interesting challenge to, you know, go through this and map Mario out. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly fast forward this video, have it be finished, and then I'm going to show you how to do the Wahoo button just because. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, before. I'm actually going to give you the final colors. So you can obviously go to the final CSS. But brown is just brown. Uh, there is just blue and yellow. Okay, so you are okay. And I believe that there is like a black in there for his eyes. So those are your final colors. You don't even need me to tell you what this, this is. You already got these colors. This is brown. This is um, yellow. This is blue. And then that's black. So you'll be fine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward this and then I'm going to show you how to do the animation. So here we go. All right, there is Mario. There is all the styles there, the final box shadows there. And so now what we're going to do is I'm just going to show you real quick how to do the uh, the animation. This one right here. Woohoo! Cool. So we've done this before, I think. The animations, it's just keyframes and animations. It's pretty straightforward. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to style it up here so it's easier to see. 
And we're gonna start off with uh, Wahoo is the ID for the button. Outline none, cause the, uh, I don't want that, that ugly outline there. So outline none. And we're gonna go and say Wahoo active. So when you are actively clicking it, sibling selector, uh, it's gonna be Mario block. We're selecting that. And what we're gonna do is say animation. We're gonna give an animation. We're gonna call it Wahoo Mario. It's gonna be a 0 0.8 seconds. Ease in, out, and uh, loop it once. And then we're just gonna build a keyframe. So keyframes, and we're gonna call it Wahoo Mario. And then at 0%, we're gonna say left zero, bottom zero, transform, rotate, and it's gonna be zero at the beginning. I'm gonna copy this out, paste, 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 change the percentages of the timeline to 30%, 80%, and 100%. So at these different intervals, this is where we're going to, at these uh, kind of stops, we're going to do the, make the animation do something. So it's gonna to go to 200 pixels, left and 200 pixels from the bottom up. It's gonna rotate negative 25 degrees. Uh, on 80%, we're gonna do 400 pixels. Bottom is gonna be zero and then zero. Left is gonna be 100% uh, left to zero, bottom is zero. And transform, we could just take that right out. Now if I save that and head back over here, click the button, wahoo, just like that. There is your Mario. Awesome, good job, good job. Uh, this was a doozy of a lesson. Like I said, not really a practical application of CSS3, but I mean, if anything, you got to see that you could do some pretty cool things and then some animations, you know, mapping things out on grids. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't know how often you're gonna be doing this sort of, sort of thing. It's more sort of just a challenge and just to show you this is kind of a cool thing. So I hope you enjoyed that lesson. We've got some more great stuff coming up for day nine. Thanks for hanging out with me for so long and woo!